Coyotes. Welcome to Wiley. We're excited to welcome you back tomorrow to your first day of school. Parents and guardians, I want to give you a little bit of information that you can share with your kids so that we have a safe and productive day here at Wiley tomorrow. All right, so when you bring your kids to Wiley, um, you'll have to drop them off. You won't be able to walk into the school for security reasons. Kids go beyond these doors and into the rest of the school. We will take care of your kids. There'll be teachers all throughout the hallway to help guide them if it's their first time here or they're just a little bit confused because it's been over the summer since they've been here. Also, lots of people want to know, should they bring supplies today? Don't bring supplies on the first day. Maybe a notebook with some pen, paper, your computer. But as far as all the other team supplies and, and big supplies, wait until Monday because the teams will be collecting some of those things in different with different subject areas. Each team handles it a little bit differently. And so you'll want to wait for those instructions and um, for schedule changes and things like that to kind of settle down a little bit before you bring those supplies to school. Thank you, we appreciate that. All right, parents. Those of you who are gonna be dropping your kiddos off here at Wiley, I just wanna remind you, first of all, we have a huge lane here from that corner all the way up to where the trees are up here to paved sidewalk. Please pull your car up, close spaces between cars so that we can get as many cars into the parking lot as possible. Don't just stop at the front doors to let your kiddos off. Go ahead and pull your car all the way up so we can get all the traffic as possible off of Raider Way and Crystal Falls Parkway. If we leave gaps, those are cars that can't get into the parking lot and creates more of a traffic issue for our friends and neighbors. So pull those cars all the way forward. Thank you. All right, for my walkers and my bike riders, because of all the construction on Raider Way, which we're excited about because it'll be great when it's done, but right now I want you to, parents to know too, and kids, that there'll be signs leading from Crystal Falls Parkway straight onto Wiley property. Also, all the way from Crystal Crossing, or Stewart Crossing, sorry, and Marbella, there are signs for the Rouse property that look just like this, guiding students on a safe walk path to Wiley. If you're on your bike, unfortunately, you're not gonna be able to ride your bike on the walk paths. You can walk your bike on the walk paths, but if you're gonna ride your bike, you have to stay on the street. Remember the sides of the street while they're doing construction to leave right away open, they are having to use the sides of the road for all of the big construction equipment like bulldozers and things like that. So we need to make sure that our students are not in those areas. You would have to be, students would have to be on the road if they're riding their bike or walk on the walk path with their bike in the safety in these zones, okay? So have your kids look for these. They're like little breadcrumbs following them all the way to their safe path at Wiley. For the apartments across the street from, I think it's the park at Crystal Falls, those students will need to, there's one little pathway they can cross by the tennis courts at Rouse, and then they will need to find these signs again between the tennis courts and the concession stand to walk safely to Rouse, or to Wiley, away from any of the construction zones. Thank you very much for your cooperation in this. The safety of our students is of the utmost importance. All right, so another safety thing here at uh, Wiley is the bus lane area. So that's the bus lane from Raider right Way onto our property. We need this to be bus lane only because as you can see, we have a walking path here. This sign leading up to the top of the hill there at Rouse. This is a walking path for students to stay out of construction zones. So too much traffic here is a problem and creates more safety issues. So we want this to be a parent-free zone. Buses only in this area. Parents pick up and drop off in the front of the school. Thank you for your cooperation in this. Again, our student safety is of the utmost importance. Other areas of concern sometimes at the beginning of the year are my kid, what if they're late to their classes? What if they can't get their lunch in time? Those types of things. I just want to let you know that we will, there's grace on tardies for the first couple of weeks until kids' schedules get settled down. They find their way to their classes. Also in the lunchroom here, we know that it takes a while those first few days for kids to get accustomed to their items, what lines, all that kind of stuff, remembering their numbers from the summer. So please remember that we also give grace. We know this is a process. Kids are not gonna go hungry. If, they, if they're late to their class, they will be excused. We will make sure that every kid eats and gets to their class safely and without penalty. So I just wanna make sure that I have reassured you in those ways. 
We are so excited and looking forward to a fantastic year here at Wiley Middle School for the 23-24 school year. Let's go Coyotes.